A disabled person reviews Disabled Meteor Part 39, The Wonderstruck Film. I just reviewed the book and I discovered there was a film and I decided why not add it in? Um, so as we talked about before with adaptations, the story is told narratively in a completely different way, often expanding on world building in order to make up for the distinct lack of internal monologue that comes with films. This film in particular really did that. The cinematography was also very artistic in a way that reflected the vibe of the illustrations of the book. And I will say that it often tipped from beautiful into slight motion sickness migraine overstimulation territory that wasn't my favorite. But what I loved most about it was how they played with silence and music and general sound design to help narratively show the perspectives of our deaf protagonists. And particularly with the 1920s storyline, it was filmed and edited to read like an actual silent film, which I adored. They also deliberately never captioned any of the things people said that were not heard by the viewer, giving the viewer a greater understanding of how hard lip reading is. And for me, as a lip reader, the ability to see into a whole new world of the text written for this film that nobody else got to see or hear, which is really cool. My biggest frustration is that they put so much effort into casting the amazing Millicent Simmons, who is deaf, to play young Rose, and then cast a hearing actor who's super unnatural at signing to play older Rose. And Rose's brother, who signs with her, also is a very stilted signer, which makes no sense given the fact that at the point we see these two sign, they've been signing for nearly 50 years. And specifically, young Rose never signs on screen and old Rose does. So why did they not put in the effort to find a signing deaf person for older Rose if they're planning on only casting one deaf person, which would also be the wrong thing to do, but I'm still confused. Zero out of 10 for that, but otherwise nine out of 10, maybe even 10 out of 10 for the film and representation.